the Supermarine Scimitar was a single-seat naval strike aircraft, operated exclusively by the British Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm. It served as a low-level strike aircraft, and could potentially carry nuclear weapons. The Scimitar was developed from earlier Supermarine designs. The development officially began in 1945, as an undercarriage-less fighter intended to land on flexible rubber decks. This would enable the aircraft to be lighter and have a simpler structure, giving it greater performance. The design was internally designated Type 505, and had an unusual V-tail design, to keep the jet exhausts away from the tail surfaces. It was equipped with two Rolls-Royce turbojet engines, fitted side-by-side -side within the fuselage. In 1948, the British Admiralty had Supermarine revised their designs. An undercarriage-less fighter was no longer of interest, and the design was reworked to a design featuring a nosewheel undercarriage. The aircraft was redesignated Type 508. In November 1947, Supermarine received an order for three Type 508s. On August 31, 1951, the Type 508 performed its first flight, and carrier-based trials started in May 1952. The second Type 508 aircraft featured significant differences, and was renamed the Type 529. It flew for the first time August 29, 1952. It had a larger tail cone, to fit a tail warning radar. It was also equipped with a cannon. The third prototype was changed even more, and was renamed the Type 525. It featured swept wings to improve performance, and conventional swept tail surfaces, as well as blown flaps to reduce the landing speed of the aircraft. The Type 525 showed performance improvements, and it was decided to use the design for a similar-looking aircraft, the Type 544. 100 aircraft were ordered by the Royal Navy. The first Type 544 flew for the first time in January 1956, and can be considered the first actual scimitar prototype. A number of prototypes were developed, and on January 11, 1957, the first production Supermarine scimitar flew for the first time. In June 1958, Operational training on the type began, and in September the Scimitar was deployed to the HMS Victorious. Eventually, Scimitars were also deployed to HMS Ark Royal, HMS Centaur and HMS Eagle. The Scimitar was a large and powerful aircraft for its time, and the carriers were relatively small. This led to a large number of landing accidents. 76 Scimitars were produced, and a staggering 39 of them were lost in accidents. When the Scimitar eventually was replaced by the Blackburn Buccaneer, it was kept as a tanker. A number of Scimitars were used by the Fleet Requirements Unit for land and sea-based naval training. The Supermarine Scimitar was retired in 1969. It was the last aircraft type entirely designed and produced by Supermarine.